What is going on guys? It is your boy Ye here today bringing another video. With me today, we've got our co-host, Lil Miss Trinka. I think we go even further back. Where is it? Right there. And then we got our second co-host, Cupid. They didn't want to leave my room for the video. Only hair fix of the video, and that was a bad one. There we go. Let's get into it. So for all of you who've been around the channel for a while now, y'all know we used to do a series called Q&A Monday. I've decided that I wanted to put a Q&A out there. Celebrate 1,500 followers on Twitch. By the way, for all of y'all watching this, we hit 1,500 followers on Twitch yesterday night. Uh, if you watched the vlog, I mentioned the vlog, but here's another mention of it. But let's get into it. Our first question today comes from Morbid Loves Oreos. I'm going to be looking over here because this is actually where my... Um, where the questions are, I'll be answering back to you. First question, Q&A, what is your most favorite food to eat during the holidays? That question is so easy. I love eating ham and those little reindeer sugar cookies. Ham is amazing in itself. Ham to me is a holiday food. You don't really eat it throughout the year, just always. You eat it during the holidays and that's kind of thing what makes it good, that's what makes it special. Well, my mom makes like a honey roasted ham type thing. Super good, but you can't eat that without getting your cookies. If you've been first time watching Q&A, I'm very expressive with my hands, by the way. So I'm going to be doing this and this and this most of the video. But yeah, so if you're actually going to eat the ham, you got to have these reindeer like sugar cookies eat after. They're amazing. So the Morbid, thank you for the question. And now, hopping over to our Twitter, where uh, I, I tweeted at. We got some questions put on here, too. Our first one from Zorilla. How come you're so cool? The real question is, how come you're so cool, man? Throwing a question in here like a freaking beast that you are. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what you mean necessarily by cool. I think back in the day, so constipated, overweight, and out of style loser. So, I mean, if you're describing that, then uh, we can throw them fisticuffs. Uh, but I don't know, man. I don't really know. Our second question today comes from Sci-Fi. What motivates you? Uh, what made you want to do this? And who are your biggest role models? We're going to answer this one by one. Our first, what motivates me? What motivates me is the idea of success and the idea of wanting to be a self-built person. Uh, that sounds real conceited, but that's always been something that's been a lot to me. Uh, my family knows about that, and it kind of is. I've always had this dream and these aspirations to do, to do more, to do things that I want to do in my life. And so what motivates me is to be self-made, self-built, to always be able to do everything myself. I'm a very independent person. Don't get me wrong, I love hanging out with people. I love socializing. I'm a very social person, but I'm also a very independent person. I like getting things done. One of the biggest things I pride myself in is the fact that this entire setup, everything about it, is from me. The Apple Watch that if you guys watch the vlogs, y'all know all about that I'm trying to um, to go purchase. Uh, I'm purchasing it because it's something that I've wanted. It was here, and I worked for it, and I'm getting it. And so it's something that motivates me to be me and to actually just do things myself. Second part of that question. What made me want to do this? I'm going to be 100% on with you, honest with you guys. At the beginning, what made me want to do this was seeing Syndicate, seeing Giant Waffles, seeing all these streamers and seeing how happy they were living and the fact that they could stay at home, live stream all day and make a living. I was like, sounds like the life. But, you know, as I started going down the road, I started finding out that, you know, this isn't about the money. This isn't about the acclaimed fame, the acclaimed success, success down the road. Um, you know, I took a really long break. I'm over a year. I've been streaming for now about a year and three or four months now. We just hit 1,500 followers. Now, there was a part of me during this beginning of this process that I wanted to quit. Whenever I was playing all sorts of games and just doing this and just this was all happening, I was thought I was like, man, this isn't growing. I, maybe I should just throw the towel and start focusing on something. But there was always this drive in me, like you say, your passion. And it was something that I really loved doing. I found out that I'm decent at entertaining people. You know, I found out that I'm pretty camera confident. I can get in front of a camera and really do whatever. And so I was like, man, you know, I just let's just keep doing it. So my my idea changed from doing it for a monetary living value to now I do this because I feel like I express myself as a person better. I feel like I can relate to you guys. I also feel like, you know, whenever I come home, I get on YouTube and I watch somebody else's videos. So I hope that, you know, with the ability of y'all coming in here and watching my videos, hopefully I can be that like that light in your day or something like that. Um, because I know that when I get home, the first thing I do is I go on YouTube and I watch either Roman Atwood or I watch some FoosyTube um, or who's some other? Uh, Optic Nade Shots Vlogs, Norton Shots Vlogs. I watch those when I get home and I see that and I see it towards a lifestyle that I want to work towards, I want to live towards. That's why I watch them. They also make me smile, they make me laugh, they make me a good day. So if I can be like that towards someone else, then that's pretty awesome. And honestly, that's really what makes me want to continue doing it. Last one, who are your biggest role models? Okay. Family, my biggest role models, like if you like close to you that you met, is my granddad. He's a great man, and I've just I strive to be like him to the max. I love you, Papa. Um, 
we're gonna, we'll do one for sports, a sports category, like that that sports role model. You're like, whoa, you're the best. Someone you look up to in sports, Emmett Smith. Um, YouTube role models. We have FoosyTube. FoosyTube's on the edge. He's I kind of I want to live up to where he's gotten, but I don't necessarily think I want to live my life how he's lived his um to the point. He hasn't lived it bad, but in my personal, I just don't necessarily think I want to be like I'm more want to be like Roman Atwood, Norton Shat, Optic Nade Shot, um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, but that thing was the last that's the last general category. I don't know who I want to uh who I want to be Roma. Sci-Fi, thank you for those questions. They were awesome. We have one from K Pay. She's been asking questions since way back whenever we were still actually doing this. Question: Can you have a game day? Like you don't stream, but you tweet out and party everyone, ever, and everyone play games. That sounds amazing. Just to be able to tweet out to you guys and y'all just jump on with me. We can just go play some GTA or go play some Minecraft or something. That sounds awesome. Um, I really emphasize and I really push Twitter because I think Twitter's amazing. By the way, I think Twitter is absolutely awesome. Um, I can just tweet something out and with you guys having the ability just to respond right there and we like have a conversation or I can favorite retweet any of your tweets. Uh, that's just as awesome. By the way, my co-host is falling asleep. What a great co-host. Uh, but I would love to do that, okay? We can definitely try to get that organized. Um, for the biggest thing that's work, we have to have a, like a follow, uh, a growth, a follower uh, atmosphere on Twitter so you guys can actually get the notification and we can actually complain. It's not a one-man play. Um, we have another question from Gooby Hoder. He said, what happened to the Call of Duty team? So this is, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I see you in the stream. I think I butchered your name even in the streams. Um, so as you guys know, I still own a Call of Duty team called Inquest Esports. Um, I have this issue where I do things very suddenly, subtly, and I just go and do it. Sometimes it bites me in the butt, sometimes it works. So for example, um, Whenever I joined Seek, I went, sold my Xbox One, bought an Xbox 360 so I could play Black Ops 2, so I could record videos on Black Ops 2, so I could then, you know, upload this video. And then Seek ended up not working and completely destroyed. Um, but I do things real, like, on the moment's notice. I just go and I do it. That Inquest Esports team, I, I love business. You guys know I love business aspects of things. So the idea of owning a team and putting it into a scene, I was like, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I had the funds, I had everything. I was like, let's do it. Let's just go. Let's just grab it. Let's get this team. Let's put it in our pocket. Let's go. Let's make money. Let's go to UMG Dallas and get first place. And then we went to UMG Dallas and got T108. Um, pretty much the Call of Duty team consists of a lot of time, but that's not a bad thing. But it consists of a lot of money. Um, nowadays, for organizations to work, uh, you have to fund people's plane tickets most of the time, hotel rooms. Uh, event like entrance into the event, jerseys for the event, and typically, I lied, y'all. I fixed my hair again. Typically, that's all gonna come out to around two or three thousand dollars, just for one event. So, no, nah, the Call of Duty team, it's uh, it's on the side. I've thought about trying to like sell it, just get something out of it, um, because I really don't use it anymore. A lot of people hit up the account. So I got like two thousand Twitter followers, and a lot of people do uh, like hit up the account and are always asking like. Hey, can we join the team? Hey, this, hey, that. And then you start talking. And I'm like, yeah, all we require is you buy our team pass and you buy jerseys and the flights. We'll get our hotel rooms, though. It's like, oh, let me pull $5,000 up real quick and I'll get all of y'all here, right? Uh, so it definitely was something that was um, a real mo a real expensive thing. Um, I don't know if I will sell it. I can kind of hold it. Um, and we can just kind of see where it goes and what happens to it. But for now, it just kind of sits there and hangs out. But guys, I don't want to drag this on too much. So guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed another episode of Q&A Monday. Haven't done one of these in a while, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, do be sure to hit a like on that. Like on that button right there. It's like It looks like this. Just hit it and uh, throw a thumbs up on the video, guys. Do make sure to subscribe also. If you are uh, new here, do subscribe. I post daily videos on the channel. Also, vlogs 178 days in. Today's day 179. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to come back for more. Go check out the vlog later today. This was your boy Jaeger, and I'll see you guys the next one.